It's a small world. Hey, this is Howie Pyro, and you're watching my sick, sick, sick world. And we're going to uh, look at stuff that I'm obsessed with and that you should be obsessed with as well. So stay tuned for sick and weird. Man, I was just reading the latest issue of uh, Bob Hermine's Magazine of Midgets, the 1969 edition. And uh, it's everything you want to know. This is back in the day where you could say a, a small person is a midget, and uh, when they were allowed to uh, uh, entertain for profit, like um, freak shows and things like that became illegal around the time of freedom in the 60s and that freedom took their freedom away of making a living by uh, putting themselves on display it became illegal think about that I'm confused because um, the publisher and editor of Bob Hermine's magazine of midgets it's from Flushing, New York. That's where I grew up, right near where I grew up. Wow, that's weird. From Queens. That's when Flushing was considered Long Island before it was Queens, I guess. But you can see, like, you know, there was whole, there's whole midget movies, like, uh, um, like westerns. <laughs> I wonder who those hombres are. Let's pick up their trail and see what they're up to. What's that movie called? There's a midget western and other midget magazines and, and when The Wizard of Oz came out, midgets became really in fashion in Hollywood. Um, as you can see here, like these Robin Hood type uh, situations. And, uh, but the funny thing is, I don't, I'm not sure how, but, uh, well, there is the story is right there, but I'm not going to read a story necessarily on a, on a TV show. But, uh, but what I love about it is that much like um, the Ramones, it seems as though they've all adopted that last name of Hermines. <laughs> so, we have Ludwig Hermine, Alois Hermine, George Hermine, Gisela Hermine. They can't all be related and be around the same age, can they? I don't know. And they're a member of, of Hermines Midgets, which is like a company of some sort. So now they're like the Ramones, kind of punk. <clears throat> so yeah, they, these guys, are uh, acrobatic midgets. Vaudeville Thrills by Hermine's Midgets, and they do all kinds of stuff that you don't normally see midgets doing. They were in the movie Freaks, one of the greatest movies ever made. They'll make one of us! A loving cup, a loving cup. We accept the one of us. We accept the one of us. Gooba gobble, gooba gobble. We accept her, we accept her. Gooba gobble, gooba gobble. One of us, one of us. I met two of the midgets from the, um, uh, the Wizard of Oz, which is so incredible. And then, of course, the most famous ones are the, the Lollipop uh, Guild from The Wizard of Oz. And here's a couple of uh, their autographs. <laughs> and another one of one of the girl um, midgets from The Wizard of Oz also. My favorite midget actor, I think, is his name is Angelo Rosito. He was in Freaks. In the, the Todd Browning's Freaks, and uh, he was in a, a 
early, early exploitation film called Child Bride, which is amazing, and uh, a bunch of Bela Lugosi movies, and I think he's in a 70s uh, Dracula vs. Frankenstein, a really ridiculous uh, movie. And, um, oh yeah, Brain of Blood and Dracula vs. Frankenstein with Al Adamson. And, uh, what else? <clears throat> he's in Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. <laughs> and he was acting his whole life. Uh, number two, of course, here's his autograph, is Billy Barty, who was in tons of movies, too, and he was Sigmund in Sigmund and the Sea Monsters, 70s uh, Saturday morning TV show. Sigmund, you are a rotten sea monster. Sigmund, you're through. Scram, get out of here. Billy Barty. What next, you say? Well, you know, there's Midget Records, too. Little Evelyn and Lowell Mason. And usually, um, he's a little rockabilly fella. <laughs> it's usually, um, they're usually religious records because, you know. Give that frown off your face, put a smile in its place, let your personality unfurl. At the corner of Amen Street and Hallelujah Square. There you go. The Diadem record label is the sickest of all Christian record labels. They have the most insane, bizarre records on them by like a raindrop and <laughs> Satan. <laughs> like, oh, that's a weird. Uh, Bizarro. That's a whole show in itself, Rod Lair. <laughs>